What's going on people, it's your boy John the Dreamer, another quick tutorial, today we're going to look at quantizing, let's get straight into it. So right now I've got a piano loaded up, which I'm using Keyscape, and I've got this progression here. So the first thing you want to do is work out the tempo that you're playing to. I kind of worked it out to be around 128. So the best way to do that is just get the metronome going and try to play your progression in time with it. I've got a little bit of latency on my keyboard, but you get the idea. And that's how you start to work it out. Now I'm going to use a session mode, so I'm going to press record here. I'm going to stop recording and we're going to see we've got something that's pretty much in time but you can see if we zoom in here some of the notes I'm a bit out in places and I'm a bit early in certain places now from playing midi and playing piano and all these different things you might want to keep some of that natural sort of phrasing and a bit of in and out but let's say you didn't want to let's say you're making like a dance record or something like that so what you do is you press command D and highlight all your midi notes there we go and what you can do is right click and press quantize now what that will do is it will quantize to the grid that you have selected. So right now we've quantized on an adaptive grid, which is narrow. So it's going to go to the closest thing. But let's say you wanted to quantize at quarter notes, it would do that as well, which is roughly where we're kind of at. So that's how you do a basic quantize for like a quarter note setting. But let's say you had some additional melody lines in here, which were around maybe 16th notes or 32 notes even. Let's actually record an example. Right, so now we've just recorded that little piece in there. We've recorded and we're on a narrow adapted grid. Now we could try to quantize with that and we're not sure if it will catch all the notes. So a safe bet would be to put it on 16th notes, one over 16th, and that's the grid now set. So all these different little notes here will be captured. You can press Command D, right click and press quantize, and we can see if it's worked. Have a listen. Now it's done a good job. You might have to go in here and move a few notes over. So this one, go that over a little bit there. This one over a little bit here. Um, so even this little bit here, Let's bring these notes out. That's more of a performance thing. Just add an extra note, a little cheeky one. Let's crop this actual loop in. Also, another thing you do is go to quantize settings here and you can also see how much you want to quantize. So if you wanted a more humanized natural feel, you could put it on about 50% and the algorithm of the quantize will shift you a bit in time, but it won't be perfect. So you still get that kind of natural feel when you're playing something. All right, guys, I hope this has helped. This has been a quick tutorial. It's been your boy, John the Dreamer. I'll see you in the next video.